Right, this is the uh, last of the uh, test benches. Solving the final problem, which is the uh, radio uh, transmission. We've got the radio chip there, and we've got the other radio chip there. And all that's between them is uh, about a foot of airspace. And what we've got is we've got a, a version 2 board, which actually uh, part of uh, this uh, test bed has proven that uh, the design that I came up with on the original version 2 board where the chip was actually got intended to drop down at this end of the board um, wasn't reliable, Wouldn't, it didn't solve all the problems so what I've had to do is I've taken a version 2 board uh, that we were manufacturing uh, for the second uh, prototype or final demonstration unit um, Plug that via a MAX232 chip and some discrete components into the um, radio board uh, and then a little ribbon up there to uh, get out on and then on the other side we've got the rubber duck going into the transceiver module and going then into a MAX232 chip before it disappears off to the computer. Uh, and what we found that uh, adding the MAX232 uh, could possibly have been got away with but in reality it does guarantee that the voltages are right for the signal both going in and out because the actual um, uh, chip there, the uh, radio chip runs at 3.3 volts so we've had to put a little voltage regulator over the back of the board there that's breaking the 5 volts down to 3.3 uh, and the new version 3 has got all of that crushed into that corner down there we've managed to get it all in and only lengthened the board by three tenths of an inch so uh, then that's the last of the last of the last of the test boards um, and it's all about uh, building up the finished version now and running the software and doing some final testing